Virgos, hey my cutie pies, what's going on? Hey my loves, what's up Virgos? I hope you are doing really, really well. It's Empress Meek. Welcome to Closer to My Destiny's Tea, where the tea is never too hot. Always serve it with a multitude of love and just right for you. Virgos, what's going on my cutie pies, my lovies? I am here to bring you a love reading tonight. Yes, yes, a love reading. I'm getting a lot of love messages and a lot of downloads about messages for divine feminine, divine masculines, um, my single Virgos and people who have met people that and it's actually going well. All right, it's time to tap into some of that good energy. All right, and stop letting this other person dominate our readings, Virgo. Like, yeah, yeah, so let's get into the people that are working out, the people that you like, or the people that are smitten with you. Yes, let's see what's going on in your energy. All right, so first I'm going to do some of these love messages. These are for my people who are already seeing someone who are um, maybe, you could be in separation from the person that you love. We're going to do a few of these to see what comes out. Then we're going to tap into the um, Love Angels deck, this deck right here, to see what comes out and what's surrounding you in love and what's going on with you and your person. And then we're going to tap into the tarot to clarify our messages. All right, Virgo, let's get started. I am sending you a multitude of love, guys, and I wish you well on today. Happy hump day, guys. You made it through another one. All right. Almost Friday. It's almost Friday. All right. I want to take this time to say thank you to each and every one of my new family members, my new subscribers. I love you. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes, and making sure that these messages get out to the masses and people who need to hear these messages of love, encouragement, truth, and light. Thank you guys. I love you. All right, Virgos. So these videos work. <laughs> these videos resonate with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, and all who are drawn to the energy and to the messages. Let go. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Thank you for bringing me here with the Virgos, and thank you for giving us clarity, love, and truth in these messages and spiritual guidance. Thank you for allowing me to be a channel, a vessel of love and light for them on their path. We appreciate you keeping us under your divine hand of protection, keeping us from all hurt, harm, danger. Thank you for making a way out of no way, being a friend in a time of need, and lighting a time of darkness. Most of all, thank you for overwhelming and over overflowing prosperity. And thank you for giving us victory in each and every situation we may face. Amen. Amen. And amen. All right, Virgos, let's get into your reading. Spirit, show me clearly what messages you have for the Virgos in love. What do Virgos need to know about their person of interest? Or what do they need to know regarding love? So, Virgo, this is the first card out. And it says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Wow. So, this is a twin flame or a soulmate message. All right. This is a message from Divine Feminine or divine masculine one or the other whichever one um and this is some this is somebody's twin um somebody's twin flame or somebody that is a soulmate and they really really love you and they're thinking about you virgo um they're what they want you to know that even though you're separate they're always with you all right they love you so much and it's never going to change um I'm getting that song, Music Soul Child, as long as your love won't change. All right, so this person really loves you, and they'll love you till the end of time, whether you're separate or together. No matter what happens to bring you two apart, they love you, and it's never going to end. All right, and I'm getting that you feel the same way about this person. <laughs> you guys even finish each other's sentences. It's a real deep connection, okay? And for whatever reason, you guys aren't together. I'm feeling like time wouldn't allow it. It was just the wrong timing. Um, but you guys did connect, and that was all you needed. The spark is lit, and it's a flame that will forever be burning, okay? That is deep, okay? Virgo, look at this. This is beautiful. I love these cards, guys. So the next message is acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, you must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change what is beyond our control, okay? So for whatever reason, you may not be with your soulmate right now or the person that you really, really love. Um, it's something that divine timing took play in. 
Um, it's just not the right time, not the right lifetime. It's not the right moment for you two to be together. And acceptance is the key to open your heart to be at peace with this and also to open your heart to another love. I mean, just another opportunity, okay? Because we have more than one soulmate. All right. So, and I'm getting when it comes to, I'm getting that these two are connected. Let's see what else came out. Yeah, I knew it. It's the twin flame card, Virgo. Twin flames, your passion ignites, okay? So you both are thinking about each other at this time. You're thinking very deeply about each other. You really love each other. You miss each other. Um, you're doing everything you can to focus on the situations you two have at hand. You know, you're doing your best to learn your lessons and try not to complicate things, but you cannot fight the way you feel about each other. You feel each other, okay? <laughs> this person breathes you in, you breathe them in, you're in each other's energy no matter what, okay? No matter what. But you're doing everything you can not to cause friction. What else you want to tell Virgo? Oh. So Virgo, this says emotions are natural and a necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. That's so true. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. All right. So the feelings of resentment you have for not being able to be with your twin, like hating the person that they're with right now, hating the fact that they are in another situation and things like that. It's really clouding you and it can block you, too. It can block your blessings. OK, you could be happy, too. You know, but if you're constantly stuck in those emotions and thinking about that, then you can't move forward. OK, so try to release Virgo and love, you know, understand Know that this person loves you no matter what. You're always on their mind and in their heart. Um, however, life happens and it happens to the best of us. And we just have to honor and respect what's going on here in this 3D world, okay? I'm getting you guys connect in the 5D. When you think about each other, sometimes it gets very intense and you feel each other. And I know that doesn't make it any easier. Anything else for, for Virgo and love? All right, this is two. Um, and so we're going to take these two. It says, look inside yourself, examine what's causing you to feel this way. The resentment. All right. Power. You instinctively know. So let's look at this. I didn't show you guys the picture. All right. And this is, um, it looks like a bonsai tree or something like that. A tree of meditation. And clarity. And then we have this, ooh, power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no and walk away at any time. All right, so this is for my Virgos who are settling for less or who knows that in this twin flame journey, you are supposed to learn lessons from each other and release each other no matter how hard it is. We've all been, well, a lot of us have encountered our twin flame and we really, really love them a lot. Um, it breaks our heart that things can't be the way that we want it to be. Um, but it's very important that we accept things so we can elevate and move forward and get the blessings that are in store for us in this lifetime. Right? Virgo, that was so beautiful and powerful. All right. And so at the bottom of the deck, the last message is it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Okay. All right. So let's move forward. That was so beautiful. Oh. All right, Virgo. So we're going to put them to the side and let's get into the messages from your loved one. What's going on with Virgo in love spirit? What can my single Virgos expect? What's going on with my Virgos regarding love? What's going on with Virgo and their person? That love is strong, honey. I feel that energy. Show me clearly for Virgo and Collective. What is going on? with the Virgo and their person. All 
right y'all saw that <laughs> oh virgo finally thank god okay <laughs> some of you have new love some of you already have found new love virgo um, in this new love, you guys are making a really deep connection. You feel each other's energy. It's a lot of passion there and a lot of attraction. Things are heating up up in here, baby. Let me tell you, okay? It's hot in here. All right? So this new love is coming, okay? And some of you have already found them. Let your friends help you when it comes to, look, asking, okay, it says ask for and accept support from others. So with this these two cards right off the break, Virgo, I am getting that. So a new love has stirred your romantic interests and feelings, okay? You need to go ahead and let your friends help you when it comes to not sabotaging this and not letting the feelings of the past, the feelings of this past love get in the way. As hard as it is to put it to the side because this is real love and real love lasts, okay? Sometimes forever. I want to say real love lasts forever because even if you don't, the love changes, okay? You go from in love to just having love for that person and wanting the best for them. So real love truly lasts forever, okay? So it's not like you can just turn a switch on and off, right? New love is here and let your friends help you. So let your friends help you when it comes to making sure you're making the right efforts and making sure you're making the right steps toward this person, all right? Making sure that you remain open to the ideas of what could happen, the possibilities, all right? And not letting your past get in the way, meaning not thinking too much about past things that could hinder this situation. I'm getting to tell you that, Virgo. And I'm getting to tell you to be, it's okay. Let your guards down some and let this new love in and see what happens. You have the control to let go and leave whenever you want. Remember, we saw that card. All right, the power is yours and the ball is in your court, Virgo. You have the control. All right, what else for Virgo in love and this new love? Tell me more, Spirit. There is intense attraction here, okay? You and this person really, really like each other, all right? You both feel like, yes, this is our time to shine, baby, okay? They're happy they met you. You're happy you met them. And both of you feel the same intense attraction and butterflies you don't want to mess anything up you both feel the same way you attract more with romantic love by enjoying this moment fully yes open up and let this new love in virgo what else playfulness so it's a lot of playfulness a lot of nostalgia feeling memories like when you were younger and when things were perfect before you went through turbulent times or tower moments or anything you're feeling like, okay, okay, I can get with this, all right? I'm feeling this energy, and I feel very jovial. I feel refreshed. My face feels like it's glowing, okay? I feel really, really good, Virgo. So, ow, <laughs> look, send some new love my way, okay? <laughs> nah, I meet people, guys. I do, and it's, it's nice. It's nice, but lately, I've been just focusing on this, focusing on you guys, and focusing on some new moves that I'm about to be making, okay? So, I'm not really focused on that, but I'm so happy for you, Virgo. You deserve this. I mean, you've gotten a lot of crazy-ass readings. I'm not even gonna lie, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you just had a serial stalker, you know? I mean, we getting a lot of craziness, all right? But this is refreshing, romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring okay so there's a lot of attraction here romantic feelings you guys think about each other during the day you message each other okay you wish that you could see each other more um you're both trying to take your time at this but you guys are really really getting close Woo, virgo what our spirit yes this feels really good Love yourself first. So this is the most important thing. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So this person loves how you take care of you. This person loves how you respect yourself and your values and you are not willing to fold or waver for anybody. This person loves the way you set your standards and you set the tone so that they know that they have to honor and respect you the same way you respect yourself or better. Okay? This is beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck, you deserve love. You are lovable. This person thinks you are the best thing since sliced bread, Virgo. They really love your energy. They enjoy spending time with you, honey. And I'm getting that 
you guys look in each other's eyes, y'all stargaze and giggle a lot, a lot of smiling, a lot of intense emotions. All right, this is the real deal. Holy feel, okay? This is good. This is good, good, good. Let's keep this energy on the board, Virgo. We're going to move this up and go ahead and move into the tarot portion of the reading, baby. Yes. And I'm getting that y'all look good together too. Y'all look good together. Out here looking on, some of you guys are younger, looking very youthful, very clean, smelling good and looking good. Some of you met another earth sign and it is amazing, baby. Okay, things are going really well. Some look, some look, for some of you, I'm getting this this person and you, y'all cutting people off for each other. Yes, because this person that came in and stole the damn show. Okay, they got your fire lit, honey. And you got theirs lit. It's a lot of mutual attraction and mutual feelings here. Yes, y'all like this. Okay, y'all like each other. I'm feeling like this could, look, this is moving into love. This one moving into love fast. There's all, some, some of you are already developing feelings. Like, I just love this person. Gosh, I love their energy. Spirit, tell us more about this new love that's come into Virgo's life. After healing, look, after a phase of healing and taking care of yourself, self-care and nurturing you, you get this, meeting someone, working with someone, forward movement, okay? Three of Pentacles, somebody working with you, a collaboration, something good that you wanted, something that feels like very much like a past life connection, soulmate connection, all right? Divine, very divine. And you are trying to take your time and make every choice right. You do not want to mess this up, Virgo. Look at that. And you got options, too. You're trying to make sure you choose the right one. And I didn't even start dealing the cards. Um, I said start dealing the cards. I didn't even start putting cards out. Cards didn't even start falling out yet. Like, I just was splitting the deck. Spirit, tell us more about this new person that Virgo has met. Oh my goodness, justice is here for you, Virgo. I'm getting after a time where you had to balance your shadow side. You had somebody triggering you, people triggering you, the wrong people coming in, people that compliment the old you and not the new you. Now you're in this energy where you're not accepting any of that low vibration energy, okay? This is time for balance, time for change, and time for you to be liberated and get what you deserve. All right, Virgo, I'm feeling that really strongly, okay? It's time for you to get what you deserve, Virgies. Yes, my lovies. About time for my Virgos, okay? Yes, y'all expect this new love. Y'all claim this reading, okay? Let's see. Yes, look at this. All right, so we're going to take this one that flipped over. This is you having options. This is you trying not to be confused. Um, this is justice for you after a time of confusion and not knowing which way to turn, not knowing how things were going to end up for you. But now you see you've been making the right choices. And I am getting that you are really focused right now, Virgo. You you got options, but you're not going to choose wrong. Yes, look at this. Because there is a relationship on the table, honey. There is a serious investment here for you. This person is ready to be serious for you. And Virgo, you're ready to offer this person your whole coin. Okay? Not, look, not one, not two, but the whole wallet. Here, you can hold on to this. <laughs> no, Virgo, you are ready to put your heart into this and your effort into this. You're ready to make this thing work. All right, after taking your time and choosing wisely, look, I told you somebody, y'all cutting people off for each other. Yes, because this relationship is on the table. All right, let's see what else. Yes, this is something that you prayed for, Virgo. This is something that you prayed for. Your prayers have been answered. This person sees you as a star, okay? This person sees you as the brightest star in the sky. Beautiful, desirable, loving, and true, honey. They are thanking God that they met you, Virgo. And they are happy. They feel like, yes, finally, I met somebody that I can have. Somebody that makes me feel passionate, sexy, fiery, okay? This Queen of Wands energy is going for what you want, knowing that you're going to get it and not taking no for an answer. Justice, okay? What else? What's the Seven of Cups for Virgo? What's going on with this new love? Wow. Yes, a lot of passionate communication. I'm getting y'all are communicating every day. You getting the good morning, beautiful, honey. Good morning, gorgeous. Yes. 
Virgo, I am loving this energy. Oh my gosh, I'm getting passionate communication. You guys may have hooked up a couple of times. I'm um, talking about going out on dates, making plans. I've been making plans. Oh, baby, baby, I've been making plans for you. Hey, y'all better listen to that while I'm Usher making plans. I love that song. And that is what I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of love energy. I'm getting a lot of summertime vibe and energy. Okay, pilot in the co-pilot. Okay, Passenger and co-passenger in. All right, having a good time, a good summer, and y'all gonna be planning trips and really, really enjoying this energy. This came to you after a time of being confused, okay? You thinking really hard. Look, y'all thinking about this love. Mm, y'all thinking about making this official, and y'all also thinking about getting together and being passionate together. Y'all both want each other so bad, okay? And if you haven't done it yet, it's time for you to put the burdens down. Look at this. You're putting the burdens down, all right? After a time of feeling burdened and weighed down by everything that's going on, you finally get to go put the burdens down. This person is going to go put the burdens down, all right? You feel like a little bit, you feel like you don't want the burdens that come with the relationship, Virgo, for some of you, but you guys are trusting in the divine and trusting in everything good that's going on. You are, and you really want this, Virgo. This person makes you so happy. You make each other happy. Finally, you get to put the burdens down and the sun is the happiest card in the deck, baby. This is some big, big love energy, Virgo. Finally, you get your just due. You get a person that you can take seriously. You get what you deserve, okay? Page of swords underneath the bottom of the deck. You are getting to know each other. You are looking and paying attention, reading the text messages carefully, decoding messages, understanding each other more, learning as much as you can about each other because this baby is going somewhere. Both of you are so happy you met each other and all you want is to get to know more about each other, Virgo. Wow, this is beautiful. So Virgo, we're going to tap into this energy a little bit later on in the week and see what's going on with you, okay? But as of right now, it looks very, very good, okay? It looks very good. Um, and I, I'm so happy for you, my loves. Woo, this is some good energy here, I'm telling you. Well, Virgo, I love you, love you, love you. And this was a beautiful, beautiful love reading. I pray you water, you water this reading with your faith you really deserve this energy finally something new not that old person this is new love coming in for you with a lot of attraction romance baby it's a vibe it's a vibe <laughs> it's a vibe virgo it's a whole vibe so i'm happy for you let me know about what's going on in the comments because i know i got some virgos that met somebody and y'all are happy not just Pauly, because Pauly said he met a person and he happy. So not just him. I know y'all met somebody. So what's going on, Virgos? Let me know in the comments. Claim this reading in the comments. I love you, love you, love you. Oh my gosh. And don't do nothing I wouldn't do. <laughs> no, do everything I would do. <laughs> From one Virgo to another. I love you guys. I will see you later. Um, if you want to know more about this romantic person or whatever about this person that you need to know what's their intentions or anything, I'm here if you need me for your spiritual needs, honey. You can just email me at closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one at gmail.com and I will book you for a personal reading. Bye, my lovies.